Hello, hi, this is Dr. Karen Perez. And today we'll be talking about, again, nursing math calculations. This video, however, will be focusing on how to calculate using the drip factor. So let's get right into it. And the question reads, a nurse is preparing to infuse 250 ml unit of packed red blood cell over two hours. The drip factor of the IV tubing is 15 GTTS, which is drops per ml. The nurse should adjust the flow rate to deliver how many drops per minute. So the formula for that is the volume, which is the amount of blood in this case, which is 250 ml over the time which is two hours but we want the time the the time in minutes and that is times by the drip factors um by ml divided by the ml and we're going to work that out and show you but before i get into the calculation i wanted to explain some background information so fluids can be administered using one of those IV pumps that when it is programmed, automatically pull the fluids from the bag. Or it can be run by gravity. And if you want to run or administer a certain amount of fluids, then one way you can use is a drip factor. Now, not all IV tubings have the same drip factors, meaning that when this says 15 ml per ml, what it is saying that 15 drops, like one, two, three, four, up to 15 drops that drop in this chamber, 15 of those give you one ml. There are other tubings that may have drip factors like 30 drops give you an ml or 60 drops give you an ml. So when you're using the tube to calculate it manually, make sure that you look on the packaging of the IV tubing to find out what is a drip um factor what is the drip rate so the volume is 200 let's write this 250 ml over 2 times 60 and this is minutes multiply by 15 GTTS over the ML. Now, the reason why we have the two times the 60, because one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So to find out two hours is how many minutes, you multiply it by 60. So then we will get 120. So here we have 120 minutes. Now, we're going to say ML cancel ML. So like terms cancel like terms. 15 in itself goes one time. And 15 into 120 goes eight times. Eight into itself goes one time. Eight into 250 goes 31.25. So when we calculate them, when we plug the numbers in and calculate it, we got 31.25. But these are drip factors. So we can't, we cannot have 0.25 drip. So we have to round it off to the whole list, to the nearest whole number. So we have 31. 0.25. How do we run it up to the whole distance, um, to the nearest whole number? So here is the whole number, 31. I'm going to look at this number here. Is this five or more? If this number is five or more, I'm going to add one to this one here that will make it 32. But if it is not greater than five, if it is less than five, I'm just going to take this number off 
and leave the 31. So then it will be 31 drops per minute that will give me, that I will give to accomplish the 250 mLs of packed red blood cell that should be delivered over two hours. So let's do some recapping. The order is 250 mL unit of packed red blood cell over two hours. The drip factor of the IV tubing is 15 GTTS per mL. The nurse should adjust the flow rate to deliver how many drops to accomplish this 250 mL in two hours. The formula is volume, which is 250 mL over the time, but we need the time in minutes, which will give us 120 minutes times 15 GTT over the ML. ML, cancel ML. 15 in itself goes one time, 15 into 120 goes eight times, eight in itself goes one time, eight into 250 goes 31.25. But we cannot have 0.25 drips, so we have to round off to the whole number. So rounding off to the whole number, we're going to look to the right of the decimal point. If this number is five or greater, then we're going to add one to it to make it 32, but it's not. So if it is not, we just drop the 25 and leave the 31. So it would be 31 drops per minute. So I hope this video was very helpful. If you have any questions, any suggestions, or any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. Thank you for watching my videos.